What's going on, you guys? Litman Tuck coming at you with another book review. And this one is from my old collection, my Eric Jerome Dickey collection, Rest in Peace, my urban fiction African-American collection. Man, this is way back from 2007. It's one of my favorite series. It's the Gideon series by Eric Jerome Dickey. Book one, Sleeping with Strangers. I'm going to go ahead and read the intro. In a wicked world of sex and violence, where the wrong demand the ultimate revenge, his is the last face the offender sees. Gideon is more than a contract killer. He's the master of the game. Now he's got the job of a lifetime. The prize is the woman he desires and a cool million. The problem is, it's just kind of that kind of hit that can make him more enemies. Like the two beautiful strangers on Gideon's trail. Are they there to protect him or bring him down? There's one way to find out. Follow them into an underworld of killers and victims alike. Thrive on darkness, passions, and revenge and desire. Man, I'm telling you, that description does not do this book justice. The main character, uh, Gideon. A very dark, very complex character. Lots of pain when he was a kid. Um, his his mother was a prostitute, so he basically grew up in a brothel. Lived a messed up life. And I'm not even going to... I can't, man. I'm not going to spoil some of the stuff that comes up, man. But he is the coldest assassin. He's very round, uh, well-rounded. He is an international assassin. So he is um, able to travel anywhere. He can go to Canada. He can go pretty much anywhere and blend in. He is a black man, but he can still blend in. He's very uh, cultured. I would recommend that you do the audible version of this because I'm telling you, the narrator goes hard on this. He brings your life. But if you're more of a reader, if you like to put your eyeballs on the letters, then it's still a great book as well. But this is book one. Um, it introduces you to the character. It introduces you to who he thinks is the love of his life. And then it also introduces a couple of other women and I would say this book is for everybody. I, I think more women probably read this, but I think this book is for everybody, man. Like I said, the main character uh, is off the hook, you know, and it is very suspenseful. But also, it's, uh, you know, it has some good stuff in it, too. But anyway, that's all I got for this one, man. Like I said, this is part of the uh, Urban Fiction Collection, and I will make sure I put that on the playlist.